good day friends it is me hl mod tech and today i'm here with part shout out part tutorial so let's get cracking friends this amazing picnic was created by snapdragon i've got a shout out you can watch up above but somebody else reached out and said hey that was amazing but how did she do it so i got in contact with snapdragon and i'm going to walk through some of the pieces in here today i'm going to teach you how to make this epic picnic blanket my friends the first step of course is to hit create new design I'm going to start by naming it blanket just so I keep track of what I'm creating. Alrighty friends, so let's go with the blanket. First, bring out a cube. Hold down shift, stretch it to crazyville. We're going to make it size 2. I'm going to hit F to zoom in. I'm going to change its height. So make sure we grab this. I'm going to tell you to type .02 and press enter. So it's a real thin part right now. We're going to drag it to the corner of one of our centimeter grids snap it fits in there perfect we're gonna change its color to this one right here I want you to go to the grid and I want you to make it two we're gonna make one chunk right here by doing control D nudging forward one click two clicks don't touch anything else and if you do control D again and again you can move all the way out to the end of that part of the project now right beside it we're gonna make another set control D we're gonna move left one, we're gonna do up one. So we have just filled in all of the pink little squares. Make sure you did it right. If you select them, there should be 10. If you have more than that, you did control D too many times and they're stacked on top of each other and you should just start over. We're gonna click on this one and do control D and we're gonna move it forward. We need to switch it to white. Then do control D, move it one forward, and do control D the rest of the way down, just like that. We're gonna click on this one here and do control D and move it one left. We're gonna switch to the red. And when you do control D on that, move it two clicks forward, control D again and again and again. Let's double check, 20 shapes, so we did it correctly. Now friends, we're gonna grab all of those, which I just did, do control D and I'm gonna move one two clicks to the left and without clicking anything else I can do control D all the way out and we've just filled a two centimeter by two centimeter box double check how many you have if you've got a hundred you did it correctly now let's take this one piece and make it a shape we're gonna to go to your creations and we're gonna create shape and we're gonna call this blanket piece you could put a description here this is for a picnic blanket and then tags I'm gonna put picnic and I'm gonna put blanket and I'm gonna hit save shape I never locked the part size now friends I'm gonna delete this complex part and I'm gonna bring out my new simpler part look how slick that is Control D and are you ready for this if we do shift nudge boom it fills in exactly the right amount control D again it has that memorized so it fills in there let's select all of those and do control D shift nudge that way bam and control D and you have just made a sweet picnic blanket six centimeters on a side using a cool shape so friends let's add an amazing border super fast Bring out your cube, let's pick your color. I'm gonna go back to presets and I'm gonna use this one here. We are gonna hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville and instead of 60, we're gonna go past 60, we're gonna type 64 and press enter. I'm gonna tell you the same, 0 0.02 for how thick it needs to be and then we need to cut it out. Well, we're gonna do that with a second cube that's a hole. Stretch it to crazyville, this time we really are gonna type 60 and then we need to align those two shapes. So I'm just touching the two, clicking align. I'm gonna make that blue on the boss and choose center and center and group. And we've just made our cool border. I can now take this border and I can just snap it right into place for our epic picnic blanket. How cool is that? 
Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Super simple steps to replicate Snapdragon's awesome picnic blanket. Once again, I want to thank Snapdragon for sharing. Make sure you check out the cards above so that you can watch the shout out of her project. Friends, there will also be a link to the project in the description. When you click on that link, it will take you to the project. And don't forget, please give her a reaction for how awesome her stuff is. Of course, friends, stay tuned as we make more parts of our cool Tinkercad picnic. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.